Malone. I'm a Microsoft MVP and a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In this video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft Azure Active Directory Administrative Units. What are they and how do they work? Come and join me. So today I'm starting off in Microsoft 365. Now, if you're a familiar administrator with this platform, then you'll know pretty much everything is done in the, the admin center. You can create your users, you can create groups, and also you can manage your roles. Uh, your roles, of course, are your administrative roles. So when you create a standard user, it's just a, they don't have any admin rights. But if you, you can uh, use one of these particular roles. Now, the problem with Azure Active Directory and indeed Microsoft 365 is at the moment, all your users are in, if you to coin a phrase, in the same bucket. So it's just one big, massive directory. But occasionally, um, you may have the requirements to, uh, for example, you might have different branch offices, different locations, and it would be quite useful to maybe have junior administrators or managers at that site administer their own users. So this is one of the features that Azure Active Directory has just recently introduced. Um, currently in public preview, this is called Azure Active Directory Administrative Users. So as I go into Azure AD, I can see I've got my same users as before, so I can manage all my users and I've got all my groups and, um, and organizational relationships, of course. Um, I've got roles uh, and administrators, and you've also got this new feature. This is administrative units. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at exactly what admin units are. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create an administrative unit. So first of all, what is an admin unit? Well, simply put, um, it's a container for um, organizing your users, your groups, your administrators, everybody who's in a specific location. And after that, well, after that, you can then scope administrative rights rather than to the entire directory, just to this one specific administrative unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an office. I'm gonna, this is going to be my London head office. And uh, I could obviously put in a little description if I want to. So I'm going to click on that. And now it's asking me, OK, uh, what do I want to do? So I'm going to go into the London head office. And as you can see, uh, I can go into the properties of the office. I can put in a description and it gives me an Azure Active Directory object ID. Um, if I go into users, uh, I can now add the members to this administrative unit. Now, of course, these users are still a member of the global, uh, if you will, the global directory. But what we're doing is we're really organizing them into, in this case, by location or by department or job function or something like that. So I'm gonna click into users. And I, again, I'm now going to add uh, some users in here. So um, I'm going to add in Brian Johnston. I'm gonna do Cameron. Um, I'm going to do Christy. Um, uh, again, it doesn't just need to be standard users. You can see there's some resource users here, here as well. Um, I'm going to bring in De Deborah and I'm going to bring in Diego. So these are my staff for the London uh, office. Now, as well as, uh, as well as this, I can also, of course, bring in some groups as well. So do remember with groups, however, you need to have at least one member in the group, okay? So I can go in and I can add in some uh, group members in here, and you can see I've got a, already got a group here called London HR Group. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to this administrative unit. Okay, so um, if I go into the other thing that's really nice here now is if I go into roles and administrators, you can see that we have a selection of role-based admin um, uh, duties here. And this is particularly useful. So, for example, you might have a user admin, a password administrator. So not necessarily a global administrator, 
but let's say a junior admin that's responsible for resetting users' passwords in the London head office. So what we're doing is we're creating a user administrator role or a password admin role. We're assigning this to a member of staff and this member of staff can only manage the users or reset the accounts within the scope of that administrative unit. So that's the, that's the key word here, scoping. So I'm gonna click into the user admin and um, I'm going to say, okay, uh, let's have a look at uh, the user admin role. And uh, again, uh, I can say, right, okay, uh, I'm going, I've selected the user admin role and I'm going to select Deborah. So this takes me into Deborah's account and I'm going to assign her a role. Okay, so um, I'm going to add an assignment and I'm going to click down here and I'm going to make Deborah a user administrator. Okay, so what I've done here, if I just go back to the London head office, you can still see that we're in the London head office um, ad admin unit. I've just added her to the assigned role of user administrator, but it's within the scope of the London head office. Okay, so she doesn't have access to admin features or admin responsibilities anywhere else within Azure Active Directory. So a very, very cool feature. Okay. Now, as well as adding in users, groups, uh, and so on, you can also, there's bulk operations as well. So if you want to uh, use, for example, CSV files, um, of course, there are so also some uh, PowerShell commandlets for this as well. So there we go. Uh, a little bit about administrative units in Microsoft 365. So there you have it. Azure Active Directory administrative units, new and very exciting way to scope your users and groups with a, a local administrator. Fantastic. More information, docs.microsoft.com. I'm Andy Malone. I'll see you next time.